Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. Uh, of course, I am your host, KC Phoenix. And yeah, this is a love reading for the collective is what I'm doing. I decided to do that this morning. I did a regular general collective reading yesterday. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to do another general reading today. So I was looking at all my love decks. And I was like, I'm going to do a love reading. So here we are. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. So also all the January readings are up. General love and money readings for every single sign. If you are a Capricorn, you receive a bonus reading for every single one. Uh, I'll start the February readings probably next weekend is when I will start, which will be the general readings um, for all of the signs. All right. Pre-shuffle energy. Um, yeah, I know you don't want to hear this. I didn't even, as soon as I was looking at the cards, I was just like, really? <laughs> but again, Mercury retrograde, it is what it is. I will do my best to be as specific as possible. Also, the pre-shuffle energy doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the main energy. But right now, the energy is body and soul. And for those of you who are not familiar with that, it is a song by Anita Baker. If you get a chance, check out the song body and soul that is the pre-shuffle energy because it was ace of cups ace of wands hermit clarity two of cups it's like yeah and for those who don't know the song the lyrics it starts out um what have you done to me i can't eat i cannot sleep and i'm not the same anymore and i don't know what to do because all of me wants all of you Something about um, walking, I think, through the door. And then she starts singing, obviously, the body and soul chorus. And it goes on. So basically, it's talking about longing for someone. Is is what the song is talking about. Like, I want to be with you. You know, body and soul. And I, I want us to be together. Because without you, I, you know, I don't feel complete. That is the energy. That I'm getting in the pre-shuffle. Doesn't mean it's going to be an energy that comes out. Now, there may have been conflicts before as well. So, because five of wands did come out. And maybe that's why if there was a breakup due to conflict or close to breaking up. And then people just haven't been speaking because don't forget the hermit. I feel like a breakup happened. And someone, when the breakup happened... Someone went and got clarity because of the hermit and then also clarity coming out from one of the oracle decks that I have here. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out. I'm going to start with the oracle deck. I'll use one of my custom decks and then I'll go to the regular tarot deck. May I have the love energy for the collective? May I have the love energy for the collective? (sighs) Love energy for the collective. What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Thank you. I'm taking this card. I don't know what it is, but I'm setting it to the side because it just, it kind of, excuse me, it kind of came out on its own. So I'm setting it to the side. Right? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Thank you. Okay, so card that came out is openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. I don't, okay, this is so random. Just, if it's not your story, as I always say, if it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I don't know why. When I was looking at this, because it looks like the Bible, Something was saying to me like I was getting something in my head where some of you might be going to spiritual counseling to try and repair your relationship or do something like instead of going to an actual psychiatrist or psychologist, some of you might be going to actual preachers like spiritual leaders and stuff and let them be the mediator for the two of you. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also with openness, something just said to me too that this is in regards to somebody not necessarily being open to 
talking to an outside party to get help. So keep that in mind as well. All right, the one I set to the side is Labyrinth. So this is the one I set to the side, Labyrinth. And it says, even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth. So for some of you, you feel like, okay, is, how can we even repair this? And what this is saying is that there is a way. There's always a way. Now, something else that I caught too is that for some of you who are recovering from a bad situation, you may feel like you'll never recover, but this is saying that you will. You'll find your way out of all of the confusion, all of the drama, all of the hurt, all of the pain. There's always a way out. And you will find that and you will be better once you make your way through that energy. You just have to deal with it. You have to stick it out. So don't give up either. And don't try your best not to stay in the energy of, oh, it feels like it's never going to get better. No, it will get better. It always gets better. It's, it's the law. It's the universal law. It has to get better. It just is. So, yeah. Okay. Let me take some of the custom cards. Can we clarify the love energy for the cards on the table? Can we clarify the love energy for the cards on the table? Can we clarify the love energy for the cards on the table? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Thank you. Huh. Some of you for that conflict, it could have been because of a family member, specifically a sibling. Where um, there was something where your siblings didn't like them, thank you. Or either their siblings didn't like you. Also, somebody's keeping a major secret. The major secret could be that they want to come back. Or either that you want them back. Again, take what resonates with what doesn't. Let's see. And I'll show you the cards in a minute. Hmm. Anything else? Independent attitude. Somebody um, might actually prefer being single. Let's see what else is coming. Huh. Stuff going on in the home. I feel like this might be literally. So like somebody hasn't been cleaning, but we'll we'll see. Am I taking both of these? I guess I am. What is this? Okay, at the bottom of the deck is no ambition. So someone may not be ambitious. That could be an issue. But like I said before, first card that came out is siblings don't like them or vice versa. Or either no, um, vice versa means you don't like their siblings. So, or yeah, their si the siblings don't like, your siblings don't like them or their siblings don't like you. So for that, with the vice versa. So it could be a sibling issue where conflict came from. Keeping a major secret. Somebody's keeping a major secret. Again, it could be something where they want to come back and they don't want to admit it. Or you want them to come back and you don't want to admit it. Or it just could be a major secret. Now, mind you, we're in Mercury retrograde. So it's a... And today is a full moon in Cancer, by the way. So... It's a strong possibility that the secret is going to come out. Just saying. So yeah. For this independent came out. Which is going into what I was talking about earlier. Where I feel somebody may actually be more comfortable being independent. Where they're not with anyone. So yeah. Alright. Other cards. Messy home came out, this could be metaphorically, meaning that there's always drama going on in the house. Or, it could be literally where people just aren't cleaning up their home. So, and that might be an issue for some people. If there was something where you live together and then they just were horrible at keeping the home clean, that might have drove you crazy. That might have been one of the things that led to conflicts in addition to other things. So, yeah, messy home. 
All right. And then older. So somebody older could be involved. You could be older than them, like a, like a significant difference. I don't know why like seven to 10 years is in my head right now. Somebody may be seven to 10 years older. So you could be older than them or they could be older than you. And then also I'm sure this could cause conflict. It says they're attracted to someone you know. Maybe that's the major secret. They're attracted to someone you know. I could I could honestly see that as the major secret. There because that's major. If someone that you've been with or are dealing with they're attracted to someone you know, I could see that being a problem. <laughs> At the same time, if that is the case, I still feel they want you. <laughs> that's what's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective taking this card and setting it to the side needs to hear? All right. May I have some cards, please? Clarifying the cards on the table. See what we get here. Thank you. Yep, that just confirmed it. That just confirmed it. That's the major secret. They want you super bad, but they are stuck between two people. And the reason I'm saying that is because the two of coins came out. They can't, they're trying to make a decision. They can't make up their mind, but they want you. They definitely want you. They don't want to let go of you. Temptation is here. Now, I can say that this could be on the other side. You could really want them, but, you know, but it's saying they're attracted to someone you know. Versus you're attracted to someone you know. And even though this card is out, it could still be from your end of things. But yeah, this is confirming exactly that. That's the major secret is what it is. I think I'm going to title this the major secret is they're attracted to somebody else. They want you bad. But yeah. So... The card, uh, remember I set a card to the side. I didn't know what it was. Guess what it is? It is dun, 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 dun. the six of cups. Figures. <laughs> Figures. So six of cups. Nostalgia, childhood, someone you've known for a long time. Surprises. So, Yeah. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So now we have three Aces. Don't forget the um, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups was in the pre-shuffle. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's three Aces. This person really wants to be with you. But it's just whoever this is with they're attracted to someone you know that, you know what? Let me take another card before I close this out. Can we get some more color on this, please? That is so random. Okay, I just heard Greta in my head, like Greta Thunberg. And then also I heard Rita. I feel like there's something involving the letter R. Like it, like the R is pronounced, whether it's at the beginning of the name or it's within the name, it, it's pronounced. So, I feel like there's something with the letter R. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. May I have another card, please? Let's see. 
Okay, must, there must be the perfect card. Because this one's taking a minute. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Somebody's ready to put their burdens down. I feel like there might be a confession too. For someone. For some of you. Obviously not all of you. Again, take what resonates with what doesn't with the Ten of Wands. Which is um, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Six of Cups, water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Temptation, which is the devil card. Which is Capricorn energy. Two of Coins, Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Another card came out. The Lovers just came out as well. Someone's going to make a choice. Uh, Okay, something's in my head now. I just had it. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to articulate it. Someone is ready to let go of the fantasy. Like someone is realizing, and especially with the lovers here, with the lovers card, someone's realizing that one is a fantasy and one is a reality, if that makes sense. Because don't forget, lovers is also the choice card as well. So, and you could be dealing with the Gemini. But they're going to, they're getting to the point where they realize one is fantasy, one is reality. And now that they're coming to that conclusion, I feel like you're the reality. But the other person that you know, they're the fantasy. That's what I feel. And now that they're realizing what is real and what isn't, because with the fantasy situation with the person you know, I believe it's a situation where... Yeah, they're attracted to them, but could it go anywhere? And I feel like this particular person, they don't want to just up and fool around. They would rather have something serious and stable. It's like, yeah, excuse me. It's like, yeah, there's an attraction, but they, they they want something more. So... Because of that, they know that more than likely they can't get it from the other person, even though they've been juggling it in their head. They're like, okay, this is the reality. What's at the bottom of the deck? King of Pentacles. This card's been coming out in a lot of readings. Two. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. So, yeah, they want stability is what they want. And the major secret more than likely is they're attracted to someone you know. All right, but they want you body and soul. So that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.